is reality? Well, I'm talking about the emotional interpretation of it, I'm not talking about quantum physics, because that's quite a complex subject. But when you look out at the world, how do you know it's real? What do you define as your reality? A surprise for you. That certainly was a big surprise for me in terms of what's my reality. Notice, in addition to the very interesting event that you're about to witness, the view of my guest and me, I look little tiny, distant, and in the dark. Now, if you look at 102 episodes of my show, you will never see that anytime. So there was a complete alternate reality that happened. And I'm giving you this two minute segment to kind of go, huh? What? Are you kidding? I'm having an extremely interesting experience. I'm listening to you. And every few minutes, I'm indoors. It's not raining indoors here. Uh, water drips on me. <laughs> and it's never happened before. And I'm, do you have an idea what could be happening? This is so yes, weird. Yes, I do. Uh, Ali, it's your higher self cleansing whatever needs to be cleansed. Everybody will experience the energy. <laughs> Remember, I did say I'm going to do something I have yes. rarely done, but I feel so kindred with you and your audience that I not only spoke the words, I said I'm going to transmit the energy. That I received. and you're such an empath you are feeling what I felt because what I didn't say is after I heard those words then the rain started opening up and I not only had the light cleanse of my cellular structure then the water and water became and to this day is my piece of nature that just melts away stress and everybody could access it. And it's got a power of transmutation in those ions that go beyond belief. Okay, that's why, okay. <laughs> I know. Because they're real water drops, <laughs> not imagining it. <laughs> no, because Alan, you're such a high being. You're already high. You're already there. This won't happen to somebody who's closed because the other, Middle I used to love opening with was one of my my uh, teachers, Muktananda, who said, "What is what works best between the mind and a parachute? What's the similarity between the mind and a parachute?" They only work when they're open. <laughs> you got it. They work best when open. Hi, I'm Ellie Bierman, your guide to demystifying your world, and you're joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical: Connecting Heart and mind. Well, what I have noticed is people are taking their past experiences, the world they know every day, the rituals, all the activities, the belief systems, which they've taken on as facts. And that's what people are calling their reality. And more to the point, they're saying this is what's real. And if you're thinking it's something else, you're wrong, I'm right. The fact is, your reality is your reality. And somebody else's reality is their reality. Because if you're just going back in your past to reproduce the past every day, that's the limitation you've put on yourself and on your life and on your whole world. Of course, it's going to look the same every day. But what if, and I'm challenging you here, what if you chose to think differently, even thinking very differently? I'm a metaphysical minister, so I read a whole lot of metaphysics. And Deepak Chopra has a very interesting quote that if you read through lots of metaphysicians, you're going to see the same thing, perhaps in slightly different words. 
You are not in the world. The world is in you. Now, you might see books and you might see videos explaining exactly what that was. I'm going to give you an example first before I take you into that reality. When you're sleeping and you have a dream, and especially if it's a nightmare, when you're in that dream experiencing it, it feels really real. I mean, you'll be really scared if something's attacking you or you're hurt or you're running from something. Know what I mean? Everybody is real. You're real in there. Oh, but then you wake up. And when you wake up, it's like, whew, I'm glad that was a dream. But what if the world you're looking at right now is also a dream that's coming from inside your head? And how do you know it isn't? And that's what the Deepak Chopra quote is all about. And as I said, it's not just him. Any metaphysician you read, any one who has quantum physics, who's showing you how those things actually work. So how can you tell yourself what's real for you so it doesn't make you feel weirded out or dizzy? Why are you choosing the reality you're choosing? If I'm putting out to you that it's something you're actually making up and you didn't really make it up, your early caretakers made it up. They put it in your head and you had no idea that it wasn't your choice because you didn't know how to keep out other people's energies, other people's belief systems, other people's thoughts. When I work with a client and I'm reading their energy and I'm analyzing how it's impacting their lives and their world, it's so obvious to me to see that a whole bunch of thoughts and a whole bunch of themes and a whole bunch of beliefs taken in as fact, they don't even belong to you. They literally don't belong to you because the words, the emotions, will come up the blocks that appear to be in you that are based on stuff that isn't yours at all. So the first thing we do is we clear out what belongs to other people that you've taken on that isn't yours. There are also what's handed down generation to generation to generation that you're not aware of all those patterns. And in addition to all of that, you get these constructed beliefs that you've made up and you've incorporated in your reality. And you also have inherited beliefs that you're not aware of forming the other part of your reality. So let me step back a moment and ask you to consider how are you choosing the world that you're seeing every day? And if you're not quite happy with it, why are you sticking with that as your reality? Because you know what? You, you can choose different thoughts. What happens if you choose to stop thinking the thoughts that were composing your reality? And instead, you chose different thoughts. So if you had limitations, if you had injuries, if you were born with disabilities, what if you chose? It has to be a conscious choice. What if you chose to become someone different? It's not an easy thing. It's something you need to practice and to learn how to practice. And 
is very doable. Now, if you know my story at all with the brain injuries that I had, I was in a world and the universe said, that's not the world for you. And the universe said, leave that world. And it said, leave that world. And I ignored it. So the universe took me out with a really nasty brain injury. I suddenly created a whole new reality. I never heard of energy work. I didn't know anything about quantum physics or entanglement or how things really work in the universe. But that's the world I've been living in for the last 27 years because I chose to move into that world because I couldn't function. In fact, I probably wouldn't even be alive if I had tried to stay in the other world, given the physical limitations incurred by the brain injury. So when I look at it, the world, even if I see, wow, there's something really painful going on in my life, because bad things happen in everybody's life, yes? You know, sometimes people get hurt, or they get sick, or they lose their jobs, or they move into a new job, or a new town, into new relationships. Maybe their best friend or their partner gets sick or hurt or moves away, or just decides to move out of the relationship. All kinds of things happen like that. And that's when you get to choose, well, hmm, how do I want to live my life now? You've probably heard that your life will reflect the lives of your five closest friends. They're going to have the same interests. They're going to have the same beliefs. They're going to have the same economic position, probably the same educational experiences. So if you find... I don't like living in this world this way now. You can make a conscious choice to look for different friends who have different values. And what are you doing there? You're changing your reality. Many years ago, I was going on a weekend trip with somebody. He was somebody, he was a really good person, but man, was he negative. And I was telling a friend of mine about this planned trip, and it was a business trip. And she said, you got to have a different listening of him. You got to see him differently. You got to have different expectations. What I did was I changed the part of my reality where he was part of my world. And I just decided he was going to be interesting and fun and maybe even a little fascinating. And that's exactly what happened. You're creating your world up here in the six inches between your ears. You are creating the world. Does it exist outside of you? I don't know. You'll find a lot of information out there these days. In fact, the 2022 Nobel Prize was awarded to three scientists who proved that the quantum physics isn't a location that's in one place. That's a reality outside of you. And just how everything is blended together attach that it's really true there's only one energy and everything that's out there our cosmos our galaxy every galaxy there are billions of galaxies out there but it's all made from the same energy and everything is energy does anything solid really exist Thank you so much for joining me here today. I just wanted to go someplace different 
to get you thinking, to help you look at the world differently. Because otherwise, you're just going to stay stuck. And wherever you're stuck in your life, there's no way you're going to move out of that. Unless you choose to have different thoughts, to choose to have different feelings, to choose to take different actions that allows you to change your world and your experience of your life. Because you can do it. People do it every day. I've done it a couple of times. Remember to join our Facebook group. Make some friends. Ask some questions. I put something new in there pretty much every day. So you have some place to get. And they're usually short. They're usually one to two minutes. But it'll just give you some new thoughts to lead you perhaps down a new path. And if you have more doubts and really are like me and you like to investigate, Audible audiobooks, you can get a free trial and choose an audiobook of your choice. I have a number of books in the metaphysical realm Many, many, actually, which is where I learn and study. And sometimes it takes me like 10 years of rereading the books periodically until it comes into my heart, until I really understand it. Because you want to start in your heart, not your brain. Because the electromagnetic energy in your heart is 5,000 times more powerful than the electromagnetic energy up here. So when you take advantage of that audible free trial, you have 30 days to look around at all the amazing stuff inside Audible because they're more than just audio books and their courses and their podcasts. This podcast is in there. Anyway, the link is down. You can see it going across and you can see it in the show notes. And remember, you can listen to or watch any episode of our show on our podcasting site. Again, the link is in the show notes. I really love bringing this show to you every week. And I have a favor to ask of you. You can join our special community over on Patreon where your support will allow you to come on a monthly live Zoom call just for members who are supporting us over on patreon.com and you can see the link happening. Now I look forward to meeting you, seeing who you are, finding out where in the world you are. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, and truly enjoy every moment, because here's the thing, nothing in your life is happening out there. It's all happening in here. Now I'm saying it in terms of your senses happen in your brain. Back here is the sense that lets you See, you don't see with your eyes. And in there are the senses of what you hear and taste and smell and touch. All of that goes on inside your body. And what if it's all an illusion you're creating up there? Well, I can't make that choice for you, but you can educate yourself and just think about things differently. And I look forward to seeing you here next time.